Dr. William Davis here, author of The Wheat Belly and Undoctored Books. I call this micro-being because the microbiome has an enormous effect on your emotional and mental health. We're seeing this play out very vividly, and that's why I'm trying to pass on to you, when we identify small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, the condition in which bacteria have ascended up from the colon and up into the ileum, jejunum, duodenum, and stomach, where they're not supposed to be, and they're often pathogenic, unhealthy bacterial species. We're also seeing this in intestinal fungal overgrowth, where fungal species do the same thing. They climb up the gastrointestinal tract, and when this happens, either of those conditions, or both, they can also coexist, it's highly inflammatory. It inflames the bowels, it can lead to autoimmune diseases, it can lead to inflammation elsewhere, arthritis, uh, and other conditions. But it all, both of those conditions also have mental and emotional implications. And we're seeing it play out because we're identifying it, correcting it, like with SIBO, we use herbal antibiotics and some other strategies. With fun, fungal overgrowth, we use antifungal agents, like herbal preparations and some of the essential oils that have very potent antifungal effects. And you see people go through a very tumultuous period where treating the bacteria results in a die-off reaction that's associated with panic, diarrhea, anxiety, depression. And then when they're finished with their course, so it can be kind of rough, but when they're finished with their course and they make purposeful efforts to rebuild the microbiome with such things as a high-potency multi-species probiotic, fermented foods, prebiotic fibers, Saccharomyces boulardii, and some, some other strategies. And you see people rebound. They become happy, optimistic, energetic, and it's really a dramatic effect to observe, but it's a vivid illustration of just how powerful the microbiome can be on your mental health.